Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on factorising quadratics of the form x squared minus bx plus c. Now in the previous video we saw how to factorise quadratics like these but where we had only positive symbols, only plus signs. So let's view example of that. If we had x squared plus 5x plus 6 for example, what we did to factorise it, and by the way, factorising means to get it into two brackets, is that we find two numbers which add to give this middle number, the number in front of the x, the 5 here, and multiply to give that constant term, the number at the end. So they've got to add to give 5 and multiply to give 6. Well, those numbers were 3 and 2. So what we did is we had two brackets with x at the start of each, because we've got x here, and then we use those two numbers. So the numbers were 3 and 2, we could do plus 3 and plus 2. And they could go either way around, it doesn't actually matter. Now these ones are a bit more difficult because we have to think about positive and negative numbers. So we have x squared minus 5x plus 6. Again, we need two numbers which add to give negative 5 this time, because look, we've got minus 5 on front of the x, and multiply to give 6. Now if two numbers multiply to give positive 6, either both the numbers are positive, because positive times positive is positive, or both numbers are negative, because negative times negative would also be positive. Now the numbers can't both be positive because they wouldn't add to give a negative number. So it must be that both the numbers that we're looking for are both negative. So let's think of numbers which multiply to give 6 and add to give minus 5. And remember, we could just write out the factor pair. So what numbers multiply to give 6? Well, it could be 3 and 2. And can you see that if they were both negative like this, they would still multiply to give 6, and they do indeed add to give minus 5. So we have two brackets, x the start of each, and then our two numbers are minus 3 and minus 2, either way around. What about this next one, b? We've got x squared minus 10x plus 24. Again, we need two numbers which add to give negative 10 and multiply to give positive 24. Now, if they both multiply to give a positive number, they're either both positive or both negative. They can't both be positive because they wouldn't add up to minus 10. So both these numbers that multiply to give 24 must be negative. So let's consider fact pairs of 24. Well, 1 times 24 is 24, but they don't combine in any way to get minus 10, do they? Or well, what about 2 and 12? Well, if they were both negative, let's put negative symbols here, they do multiply to give 24, but they add to give minus 14, which is not minus 10, is it? What about uh, 3 and 8 multiply to give 24? So 3 and 8 would both be negative, but don't add to give minus 10, they add to give minus 11. Or what about 4 and 6? Minus 4 and minus 6. They multiply to give 24. And they do indeed add up to give minus 10, don't they? So the two numbers are minus 4 and minus 6. So we've got x minus 4 and x minus 6, and that is the final factorisation.